Welcome back traders. This is our gold weekly review. My name is Angelo Zitis and we start with this week's title which is preparing for the storm. Gold traders are patiently waiting for this week's heavy calendar of important financial releases that is expected to keep the market on the edge. These events will also provide vital information on how the financial markets will proceed in the following months. Our first point is gold's latest sessions movement. We focus on gold's latest sessions movement and try to understand to what side the majority of traders are aiming at. We start with last week's financial indicators that provided volatility for the metal, as we observed. On Thursday, the 25th of July, we got the core and headline durable good orders. Both the readings came out a lot higher than was initially forecasted. The news gave the green light for bulls to purchase the greenback, which ultimately sent the precious metal lower. In the general market view, this was another confirmation that the US economy is in great shape. In this case, the logical reaction from gold traders to sell gold may have also been derived from the fact that further doubts on the performance of the US economy were removed, which also removed some risk of the market. Then we move to Friday the 26th when the US advanced GDP was released. The forecast was for the reading to drop to 1.8% from previous 3.1%. The reading eventually came out at 2.1%, which was also very positive as even though the economy may be slowing down somewhat, this rate indicates that the economy is growing on a faster pace than what the market expected. This had a lukewarm reaction from gold traders as even though it was up for the day, before the session was over it gave back most of its gains and corrected lower on the closing. The general idea here is not what price gold traded prior to the news and where it ended after the release. The idea is that gold remains somewhat USD driven and for the previous sessions was not focused on the global fundamentals that drive risk higher and create uncertainty. So the question is, can the precious metal be focused more on the US economy in the coming days also? From our point of view, this could be the case, which takes us to our next subject, which is face-to-face -face talks of the US and Chinese officials. Now, this week, we get the first face-to-face -face talks of the US and Chinese officials in Beijing since a truce was called upon between US President Trump and Chinese President Xi. Many believe the Chinese side could be buying time and waiting for the 2020 US presidential elections to settle with a chance of negotiating a more watered-down deal with another president. However, Donald Trump is aware of this scenario and could rush to apply more pressure on the Chinese in case they waste time. This could turn out to be very costly for China as their economy is already in a slowdown and further tariffs or even blackmail could worsen things further. We do not see China being able to play this card effectively as the US is in a more aggressive position and could take action against them. On the other hand, we must provide space for progress to be made on the matter, as that is what the two sides, or at least should be aiming at. From our point of view, progress on a deal could send the USD higher and the precious metal lower, as in this case a deal would be the most positive news globally. Europe, Asia, the Middle East and other continents will be in a much better position than they are currently if a deal is reached. Gold traders may seek to avoid trading and enter the market once and only if we have updates from Beijing. In some cases, traders' mentality could be not to do anything unless something very special takes place, and this could be that special case. Now, our third point is two significant market moving events. For the upcoming week, we have two significant market moving events. First one is on Wednesday, we get the FOMC statement with the rate release and the FOMC press conference. Cold traders most probably will be present trying to take advantage of sudden swings. The Fed is expected to cut rates by 25 basis points with a current probability of 82%. Depending on the Fed's accompanying statement, the USD may be affected accordingly. We would advise caution as the event may create significant volatility for gold prices. Yet, on Friday, we also get the US non-farm employment report, which also creates a lot of interest traditionally, 
for gold traders and also is a market mover. As a conclusion, gold is expected to have a bumpy ride during the current week and traders should be aware that any scenario is possible. We would like to emphasize the pre-mentioned statement and we currently do not lock in any direction for gold prices. Moving to our technical analysis, this is gold's four hour chart. We start by saying the precious metal is in a sideways motion since the 19th of July 2019 between our R1 1425 resistance level and the S1 1414 support level. Now, in the scenario of an upward movement, the most probable stops above our R1 1425 resistance level are the R2 1435 level and even higher is the R3 1450 level. In the opposite direction, if gold is to break below our S1-1414 level, the next stop could be our round number, S2-1400 level, and even lower our S3-1382 level. If strong volatility is to prevail, just as we expect it to, we would not be surprised for two of our levels to be broken in any direction. So caution is advised. If you've heard something in this report that you found useful, make sure you apply it to your trading. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. Solid trading.